Ain't saw my dead flaw, I'm a dying breed of the realest. Ain't never worried about another nigga, so in that case, I'm the biggest. I've been traveling around the world, my pivot still ain't left the business. California breeze, take it out the heat. Stop at a little party, end up at the big house. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Don't play with it. What up guys, it's Rick and Dawson, I'm back again with another video. So today is the 27th of March, exactly 31 days until my 25th birthday. Hi. Okay. Luckily, I don't have a lot of meetings, which I'm very, very happy about, so it's a good start to the Monday. Um, I'm working on just finalising a customer website, which is a marketplace solution that I've created. And what else have I got? Probably have some other stuff to do, a bit of coding, taking an MV on a walk. Yeah, so stay tuned and I hope you like the video. So today what I'm going to be focusing on is just, um, I'm currently reviewing a solution that has been created by a team of consultants and I just need to ensure one of two things are being met. Um, one, that we are uh, following security best practices for this solution and also ensuring that we have taken into consideration the security policies and governance of this um, customer. Um, so for me to do this, I just kind of uh, do a lot of reading around the subject, um, kind of just look for ways to essentially break the solution and um, just prepare a document and presentation to then be able to present it to the customer. What up guys, it's a brand new day today and I'm going to start my day off with a quick gym session. So I'm just heading to the gym now. And then I'm just going to continue working and see what my schedule actually has planned for me for the rest of the day. So you may or may not know, um, but currently I have been revising for my CKA exam, which is the Certified Kubernetes Administrator. So I kind of just wanted to go a bit deep into kind of speaking about what containers are and what is the actual benefit in containers. Um, so just to kind of give a little background, I'm actually a full stack web developer, um, fully self-taught, uh, but I now obviously specialize in DevOps and security. Um, so I guess to begin with, we can kind of talk about how um, containers are able to provide an efficient and scalable way to actually be able to package and deploy your applications. Um, so what this does mean for developers is that they can ensure that their code runs consistently across different environments without actually having any compatibility issues. Um, on top of that, it also does enable um, for a rapid deployment and testing. So if the developer wants to quickly iterate and refine their applications, it's going to be a lot easier for them to do that. And it's also going to make it a lot quicker to bring new products and features to the market. And ultimately, kind of giving a better delivery experience for your customers. Um, and I guess one of the final points I'd like to make is that with containers, they can be easily moved between different environments. Uh, so that can be in on-premises or cloud-based environments without actually having to worry about any compatibility issues. And this is great for a business um, that's, for example, moving from on-prem or hybrid and wants to completely move it onto the cloud. Uh, using containers is a, is a very good way to be able to um, essentially meet that customer demand. And finally, I guess it all comes down to money, money, money. Um, so it does um, provide like an overall efficient way of being able to operate your IT resources. Um, the reason for that is that it provides a great automation and standardization, um, as well as uh, reducing the amount of time and resources essentially needed to manage these infrastructures. What up guys, it is your girl Rika Doss and today is a brand new day. I am running late for work so I will catch up with you guys later but stay tuned, um, it's just going to be an office day for me today.
options. So on Wix, you will have the namespace, uh, name service that you are going to change it to. With one two three reg, you will need to ensure that um your domain is actually unlocked, which I actually end up finding out over here. Um, so if we just click here, we will be able to unlock our domain. Uh, it's always recommended to do this, um, as in keeping your domain locks. And now I can update my name servers, and I'm changing it to the name servers that are going to point to my Wix website. Domain got approved and connected to our Wix website. So I hope that helps. Thank you.